Hey, today I'm talking about Steven Soderbergh's new film, Kimmy, starring Zoe Kravitz. This is a suspense thriller mystery, basically, and the basic premise is Zoe Kravitz works for essentially a company that does the same thing as Siri and Alexa, except like it's people who actually monitor the things, and she stumbles onto something that she shouldn't have heard. It gave me a lot of similar vibes to the conversation. It doesn't have the most original plot. You can pretty much call most of the beats. But that's not really what this movie is about. What I loved about this movie is that it's not afraid to be modern. Like, it is set in 2022 in a post-COVID world. Like, people put on masks. People constantly sanitize. People have really extreme social anxieties now. And I can super relate to that. Like, there's a scene where Zoe Kravitz has a panic attack just walking to her door. Like, she spent 20 minutes getting ready to go outside and now it's time to leave and now she can't because she's having a breakdown and I'm like I get that. I feel that real hard. And like there's also just something so cathartic about seeing a piece of media in which people put on masks. There's so many TV shows and movies right now that are set in set in 2022, but like they're clearly not. Even though they say like COVID occasionally or something, it's not. It's not this world because they're acting like this is completely normal and not a single person is ever talking about like, oh, that's slightly too many people for me or like, has everyone gotten their boosters and saying stuff stuff like that. Like, uh, this is the world we live in. Media needs to reflect that. Media is just too afraid to reflect that, but this movie isn't, and I appreciate the hell out of it for it. Uh, I just related to Zoe Kravitz's character so much. One of my favorite things that she does, she constantly puts on hand sanitizer, and so she like squirt, squirt, rub, 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 rub and then go, and I'm just, just that little, it was, it was adorable and relatable and it just, it, it made the movie for me. Just that little, it just uh, got me in the heart. So yeah, I would recommend this movie, especially if you're a fan of like thriller mystery things, even though you're gonna figure it out pretty quickly, it's still an enjoyable experience. And if you're a person who is also just looking for a movie that actually takes place now and does it well, this is a great example of it. So yeah, I ended up putting this at number two in the quite like section. It's at the top of the quite like section. And this is out of a total of four new movies so far this year.